Hi, Joe Outram here, and today I want to talk about how daydreamers can be good at running a business and generating wealth. Now, according to Wikipedia, um, daydreaming is the stream of consciousness that detaches from current external tasks when attention drifts to a more personal and internal direction. Now, this phenomenon is common in people's daily life, shown by a large scale study in which participants um, were shown to spend 47% of their waking time on average on daydreaming. So that's a lot of time that we actually spend daydreaming, whether we actually are aware that we're daydreaming or not. And here's the thing, we can take control of those daydreams and that's where um, we use visualization because visualization really is just um it's just daydreaming with purpose um you can visualize things and let um go off a tangent but you're setting the purpose up in the first place with a visualization and visualizations anybody can visualize whether you're you think you're a visual person or not because it doesn't always have to be visual imagery to have visualizations. Yes, you might see, when you visualize, you might see pictures, you might see um, like a movie, so it's constant and changing pictures. You might see still pictures, but you also might um, attach to feelings or have sounds. Um, you might just see colors going on. You know, visualization can be any of those things. But what we're doing when we're visualizing is we're allowing ourselves to daydream with purpose and we're allowing our mind to explore certain things, whatever it is that we've set out as our purpose um, for visualizing. So we can turn that into um, the purpose. We can turn that purpose into being about our business and our wealth generating skills as well. So let's just have a quick look at the benefits of doing this, because I know sometimes when I mention visualization to people, I think, well, can it be effective? Well, it is an effective tool when you're working on your mindset. Although, of course, mindset is other things as well. We still need the habits. We still need the you know behaviors. We still need the strategies and all those um, things that we have around mindset work. But this is a good tool to use. And if you are a daydreamer, then um, you've got a natural ability to do this. Although, like I said earlier, anybody can learn how to do this. But daydreamers, we've we've been practicing for years. I mean, I was always told to stop day, day you know, don't daydream. You see, you're always daydreaming. Get on with doing something. And perhaps as a kid, I did day daydream a little too often. But you know what? It's a skill that I perfected early on and now can use to my ability. But even if you weren't a big daydreamer as a kid like the study shows we're spending 47 percent of our or up to 47 percent of our waking time on average daydreaming so why not take control of that and start doing it with purpose because there are benefits to doing so the first one is it helps to increase motivation if we visualize what we're trying to achieve we're actually instructing our minds to find ways to get us there to where it is that we want to go and we can also um, play out various scenarios like, you know, rehearsing for a play, which helps us to be motivated to going out and doing the tasks at hand. Um, and often the tasks when we're building wealth and running a business are taking us outside of our comfort zone. So this increased motivation certainly helps. Um, the second benefit is it builds self-confidence. Uh, you know, it helps us make the unknown known. And we have a less fear over something that we can visualize happening because at that point, our mind knows that we can survive it. We know we're going to come through the other end um, unscathed and that just reduces the fear down. So this is good when we're trying to push against our um, comfort zone and go to the other side of that um, barrier where we would normally feel uncomfortable. Now, yes, we may still feel uncomfortable, but it helps us to have enough confidence to take that leap of faith that we need to take to go outside of our comfort zone. And like all skills, we have to remember that this takes practice. Um, just deciding you wanna do something and you need some self-confidence for it, so you're gonna visualize it. Don't expect to be able to do this in one go. <laughs> like everything, it does take practice, but the more you practice it, the better. This is why it's good for daydreamers. Those of us that 
um, are aware that we are daydreamers because we already know that we can, we have the skill. We already do have it that we can just tap into, but you can learn it over time. Um, benefit number three, it improves our creativity. You know, we can explore new areas in our business and new concepts and, you know, there's less risk when it's just in our mind. So we are more willing to explore more adventurous things as well. And we need that. Um, we need that creativity when we're in business, when we're looking at ways to generate wealth. So visualization is a great tool in that aspect. The fourth thing is it helps us to clarify our goals. You know, with goals, we need to get specific so that we can take the right action. And we can use visualization. So, you know, the daydreaming with purpose to help us to do this, not just in business, but in our personal lives as well. Um, we can get real um, clarity on those goals and the kind of action. We might not get all the steps out, but we can also explore different courses of action to help us with those goals and clarify what that action is as well as, as part of that visualization process. And the fifth thing is it helps us in developing new skills. And we always need new skills in business because as small, particularly as small business owners, we wear that many different hats. We're doing that many different things in our business. We're the managing director who needs to govern all areas of the business. We're the CEO of our own business. So developing new skills um, is something that we're doing on a continuous basis. So using visualization to help us with this is a great um, benefit and just think about one of the money blocks that I see a lot um, with people that I work with and I know it's one of the top money blocks is that we don't think um, that we know what to do when we have more money in terms of you know a bigger business means we're going to have more tax issues and more complex decision making so then that helps put in that glass ceiling that's helping us keep us small or well, we can use visualization to help break through that. And we can use utilize this power um, by helping us to step into the role of the person that we will be when we have that more complex business, that bigger business, that more profitable business. And when we have things like financial freedom or whatever level of wealth that you are trying to bring into your life and yet you are working towards. And in fact, that that particular visualization of stepping into that position of being financially empowered or of being a money magnet, however you want to phrase it, is what I teach in the preparation stage um, with my e-course, the five steps to becoming a money magnet. There is a little bit, um, I, can't, I suppose it's like six step, but it's the one that you do right at the beginning where we're setting the scene. And part of that is being able to have do this visualization on a regular basis and be able to step into that position of being who it is that we want to be. And this is what I do with my one-to-one -one clients as well, because it is so powerful once we learn this skill, once we can do this and then ask our future selves all sorts of questions um, that we need answers to. So when you step into the power of that future you who is wealthy, then you become comfortable with the thoughts you know, the beliefs and the feelings that you have when you're there. So you have them and you believe you have them before you actually do, because you're stepping into that future role, that future you. And then actually what I find is people realize the calmness um, is in a complete contrast to the negative thoughts that they currently have about what it will be like as that future person operating that business. And of course, you can then combine this with journaling and ask your unconscious mind questions that you need to be answered once you've stepped into that power of being that a person of financial empowerment, of owning that six figure business, whatever it is that's important to you. So how does this make you good at business and building wealth? Well, you need to be motivated to take the action often outside of your comfort zone when you're a small business owner, when you're building wealth, visualization, daydreaming with purpose, it helps with that. You need to be confident, and of course it helps with that. And you need a certain level of creativity, no matter what business you are in, to help find solutions. Because as a business owner, that's what we spend a lot of our time doing, not just finding the solutions for our 
um, customers, our clients, but also finding the solutions that we need to operate a more profitable business and to grow the profitability of our business. Visualization can help you with this task. You need to have clarity with your goals so you can plan the action you need to take. Visualization can help you with this. You need to develop new skills, you know, with the many hats that you're wearing. And, and in business, um, the general skills like, you know, marketing, sales, all those kind of things, as well as in basic finance. And again, you know, developing those skills, visualization can help you with it. And here's another benefit, an added bonus, is it can help you to jump over any hurdles that you encounter. Hurdles there, I'm referring to your limiting beliefs, money blocks, whatever you want to call them. If you can imagine doing the task that your blocks tell you that you can't do, um, then the, if you can actually imagine doing those tasks, then the blocks disappear. It's that simple. If you can not only imagine it, believe it as well. I mean, you've got to be, believe it. So that's where practicing really helps so that you are imagining, you are visualizing doing these tasks and believing that you can do them because your mind's seeing you being able to do them. So, of course, you believe it. And if you believe it, then that negative belief, well, it's just no longer there. Now, of course, for real deep rooted limiting beliefs and money blocks, visualization, um, that you're just doing for yourself may not be enough and there are other techniques i mean the one that i prefer to use with my client with my clients timeline therapy do, is actually a form of active visualization so it can be used to really dig deep and pull up the roots um, of those limiting beliefs but of course you need to be working with somebody who is skilled in that area to help help you do that but you certainly can for a lot of your limiting beliefs and money blocks, the, lab, the low lying fruits, so to speak, you can be getting rid of those by yourselves using visualization techniques. Now, of course, yes, you still need systems and procedures. You can't just visualize everything. You still need to be doing the doing, taking the action and having systems and procedures in place. But here's the thing, they don't. those systems and procedures don't need to be difficult. In fact, the more simplistic they are, often the better it is. So having visualization and some systems and procedures in place um, is really going to propel you forward in your business and wealth building activities. And whether you believe that you're good at daydreaming or not, you can still utilize this skill because we've all got the ability to be able to do it. Remembering, of course, that you don't have to see images. Not everyone is visual. You know, non-visual imagery works just as well. So to recap the benefits of really exploring visualization and developing your daydreaming tool is it increases motivation, it builds your self-confidence, improves creativity, it helps clarify your goals, it helps in the development of your new skills, um, and it helps you to jump over some of your limiting beliefs. So I encourage you to set aside some time daily to daydream with purpose, of course, and with the emphasis on growing your business and wealth. So that's it from me today. Until next time.